It can be incredibly frustrating to wake up in the middle of the night sweating or shivering because you have the wrong covering on your bed. The type of covering you have affects how warm you will be while you sleep, and you'll want to choose the right option for your preference and habits. However, the differences between bed coverings aren't always clear, especially for products like quilts and blankets. While quilts and blankets are both designed to provide warmth while you sleep, they have some key differences. Quilts usually consist of three layers of fabric, including a padded middle, that are decoratively stitched together. Blankets, by comparison. This video will continue the comparison of Quilt VS. Blanket, highlighting the many differences you should be aware of. Also, we will discuss the construction, appearance, cost, and material makeup of these covers. What is a quilt? A quilt is a type of bed covering that is designed to keep you warm as you sleep. This warmth comes from three layers of fabric stacked together to make a single covering. The top and bottom layers are usually made from quilter-grade con fabric, while the middle layer is made of padded batting to keep you warm. The top layer of a quilt is usually elaborate in design, with different colors and styles of fabric sewn together to make a striking pattern. Some quilt tops are designed to look symmetrical or geometric. Others may be designed to imitate the natural world, including plants, animals, or even nature scenes. There's no limit to the designs that can be made on a quilt. What is a blanket? Blankets are also used for warmth while sleeping, though they're much simpler than quilts. They are made of just one layer of fabric, usually woven. They can come in a wide variety of colors and styles, but will be the same on both sides, unlike quilts which usually differ from top to bottom. The term blanket is often incorrectly used to describe any type of bed covering, even though the covering may not truly fit the definition of a blanket. Quilts, comforters, duvets, and coverlets are all commonly mislabeled as blankets, even though each is its own unique bed covering. It's important to remember that a true blanket will only ever have one layer of fabric and will be used for warmth while sleeping. What's the difference between a quilt and a blanket? Construction. One of the main differences between quilts and blankets is how they are constructed. Quilts are made of three layers of fabric, each distinct from one another. Blankets, on the other hand, are made of just a single layer of fabric. The top and bottom layers of a quilt usually differ in appearance from one another. Quilters usually spend a lot of time sewing together different colors and patterns of fabric to make elaborate designs on the top layer of the quilt. The bottom layer is generally a solid fabric, usually in a complementary color to the top layer. Materials. The outer layers of a quilt are typically made from quilters grade con fabric. This type of fabric is medium in weight and holds its shape well even after being washed. It is more robust than con fabrics used for apparel since it needs to be able to withstand being cut and pieced together into elaborate designs on the quilt top. The outer layers of a quilt can be made of other fabric types, though these are less common. Flannel, wool, or linen can be used for these layers. Some quilters will even use old t-shirts as fabric for quilt tops. The inner layer of the quilt is a thick layer of batting. Batting for quilts is usually made of polyester, con, or a blend of the two fibers. However, wool, bamboo, and silk alternatives are also available. Blankets, by comparison, are usually made of uniform fibers throughout since they don't contain multiple layers like quilts. Fleece, polyester, con, wool, acrylic, velux, cashmere, or blends of these fibers are all commonly found in blankets. No matter the fiber type, blankets are generally woven and uniform in color and pattern from back to front. Weight, regarding weight, the general rule is that quilts are heavier than blankets. This is mostly because they have three layers instead of just one. Add in the top stitching and the binding around the outer edges, and there is much more weight than the single layer of fabric a blanket has. Appearance. Appearance is where quilts shine and is one of the reasons why they are so popular. The top layer of a quilt is usually very elaborate and draws most of the attention. Quilters will spend a lot of time creating unique fabric arrangements to make their quilt top stand out. The bottom layer of a quilt is usually different from the top layer and is often a solid fabric in a complementary color. The entire quilt is then top-stitched in equally elaborate patterns. These patterns can be random, often referred to as meandering, or can be precise repetitions of a deliberate design. It is very common to see top-stitching take the form of swirls, flowers, or paisley designs. Straight-line designs like zigzags, chevrons, or grids are also popular. Some creative quilters even write words with their top-stitching, giving the quilts extra meaning and detail. Beyond the top-stitching, quilts will also be bound along the outer edges with the fabric seam. This seam is what covers the raw edges of the fabric and keeps the entire piece together. 
The binding is usually made of a similar fabric to the top and bottom layers and won't include added frills like fringe or tassels. Cost. On average, quilts cost more than blankets to produce. This comes down to the layers involved in their creation and the considerable time it takes to topstitch a quilt. A handmade queen-size quilt, for example, will require around 15 yards of fabric for the front, 8 yards for the back, and a queen-size cut of batting. If the fabric is at a minimum price of $10 a yard and batting around $30, you're looking at least a cost of $260 for just these supplies. This doesn't include a pattern, needles, and thread, outer binding, or the cost for hours of labor. Use Both blankets and quilts are designed to keep you warm while you sleep. However, the appearance of quilts often means that they are used as decoration in many homes. Some people even use them as wall decor making them a statement piece for everyone to see because of the considerable time it takes to make them. Quilts are also often treasured as family heirlooms or sentimental gifts. It's not uncommon for quilts to be passed down through the generations of a family, which doesn't often happen with blankets. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.